The 88-tonne donation from Russia contained food and medical supplies to help a nation hit hard by the pandemic. Cuba has seen its tourist industry collapse. The help from Moscow will be warmly welcomed, a reminder of the decades of support it gave Cuba until the collapse of the Soviet Union 30 years ago. So too will these supplies donated by Cubans living in the United States. We have a lot of needs when it comes to health, medicine, medical equipment, supplies in general. Russia has been active elsewhere in Latin America. Its Sputnik vaccine, one of the most widely used in a region where vaccine supplies have been sparse and sporadic. Unfortunately, across Latin America and the Caribbean, only 15% of people have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And several countries like Honduras and Haiti have yet to reach even 1%. To help rectify that imbalance, Russia is also authorising the production of its vaccines in countries like Argentina. While Chile has signed a deal with the Chinese company Sinovac to make their product in the northern city of Antofagasta. If this plant is built, it would allow us to distribute vaccines all over Latin America. With perhaps more to come and not just for the duration of the pandemic. So we are look, really looking forward to the long-term collaboration in this country. The Russian and Chinese authorities were quick to deliver millions of doses as the United States, while Donald Trump was president, appeared unwilling or unready to supply them. President Biden has, since he came to office, tried to make up for lost time. Last week, millions of doses of the US Moderna vaccine were donated to Argentina, Peru, Brazil and Colombia. This week, the US sent a further one and a half million vaccines to Honduras under the COVAX scheme, set up to ensure COVID relief reaches less well-off countries. Most here in Latin America don't much care where their vaccines come from. They just want a safe, effective jab and an end to the COVID-19 nightmare. However, Russia, China and the United States are all aware that in a region in which they've all long courted influence, many will remember who was there when they needed help. Daniel Schreiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.